Now that you know what cognitive load is, let's talk about how we measure and test it in the laboratory. Cognitive load is an estimate of the mental effort required to complete a task. For more than a century, researchers have studied participant cognitive load while they complete demanding tasks. Studies can involve tracking objects on a screen, subtracting numbers in your head, or trying to complete a motor task while ignoring distractions. One early and pioneering research finding showed that changes in cognitive load during tasks resulted in proportional changes in physiological signals across multiple biometric sensors that measure things like cardiovascular reactions and pupil dilation, and when combined with participants' self-reported cognitive load, developed a robust way to measure mental effort. By training machine learning models to recognize these trends at individual and task levels, we can detect cognitive load. We started by developing a worldwide data collection strategy with testing sites spanning four continents. Our final data set included more than 2,000 individuals. We developed our own cognitive load task in VR, using a multitasking paradigm that manipulated different types of cognitive load and levels of difficulty. In the easy cognitive load task, participants tracked a single ball on the screen while other distractor balls circled around. In the medium difficulty task, we added mental math problems. And in the hard task, participants tracked the ball, did mental math, and tracked a direction of a spinning wheel, responding with their VR trigger on their controller to report which direction every time they heard a beep. While participants completed these tasks, we recorded three separate streams of data. Task data, things like difficulty of the level and performance. Physio data, this is the data from the biometric sensors that record cardiovascular data, eye tracking data, and others and self-report data, which participants reported how loaded they felt after each instance of the cognitive load task. Our goal was to accurately predict cognitive load in real time. To do this, we labeled some of the data with actual task difficulty and user subjective self-reported data and trained machine learning algorithms to recognize those labels. We tested the algorithm on unlabeled data. The strength of the algorithm is determined by how close the algorithm's prediction is to the labels, which is called ground truth. Here is the real algorithm in action. The black dots represent the ground truth of the participant's cognitive load in real time. The red line is the algorithm's prediction of the user's cognitive load. The goal is to have as little difference as possible between the ground truth and the prediction. In our case, the average of all the differences between the ground truth and the prediction, called mean absolute error, was 0.11. This is a well-performing algorithm because the error rate is close to zero. If you're interested in knowing more about how we developed, trained, and tested our cognitive load models, we release a technical report that describes our procedure along with our test data set. This can be found at hp.io omnicept under the research tab.